So I'm going to try and do a uh, kind of update. Um, it's uh, no secret that over the years, this channel has experienced quite some fluctuation in uploads, <laughs> to say the least. Um, the reasons um, why this has happened are mostly personal, um, but they are reasons that I hope to mend. I'm going to try and avoid more examples. During this autumn, uh, um, well, the autumn that passed, rather, uh, I've been seeing a, a, um, a, psychiatrist, a psychiatrist, um, basically to fix some problems that I had. For a few months, um, well, a few months later after these meetings, um, I, I had a di diagnosis in my hands, um, ADHD and uh, Asperger's, it said. Uh, the, the reasons why the uploads tended to uh, be so infrequent is uh, um, is really because, um, well, you know, when you upload, things might malfunction uh, and need to be replaced. And uh, when I, uh, once I have finally, like, been able to mend the issue, um, I will have lost interest in whatever I was doing. Um, like, uh, you know, my, uh, my, my Irish campaign in Medieval 2, for example. Uh, but to be honest, um, that wasn't the only reason. While recording uh, a new episode, I kind of miscalculated a few things and totally fucked up. So yeah. Uh, now it's a new year, and uh, during this um, uh, during this spring, I will be doing a special program for people with um, ADHD that is. Uh, related to planning and structure. Basically, the idea is that um, you collect all the like your information on everything, everything in one booklet, and then what you do is you plan your day in detail to make sure that you you, you always stay busy and you don't forget the things that you do, which can else, which can otherwise happen, um, uh, like. To be honest, um, it, it, it's a bit embarrassing, but if I don't plan out things, I can uh, forget things like eating, sleeping, showering, uh, um, so yeah. Uh, and uh, previously I've always made my videos on the basis of when I feel like it, rather than like, than like a schedule on when to record, up, edit and upload. Um, so it simply, well, I can say it in English, uh, it simply ran that, just nothing happened. Uh, but I hope, it, it, it is my hope, that as I progress in this program that I'm going, uh, that I will be able to plan, recording, editing, and so on. Much more consistent uploads, uh, so that actually I might be able to finish a damn series. Uh, now, speaking of video series, um, well, the Irish one, it's cancelled. I'm hoping to make a new series with Medieval 2, but in that case, I'm gonna be using the stainless steel mod. Uh, because simply after some time playing vanilla, you realize that it's kind of dull. Right. Then we also have War Thunder. It, it, the series, if you want to call it that, uh, well, it'll just continue as usual. I've only done one episode, but I can simply, I can quite easily do more. Um, okay. So, yeah. Um, also, uh, in relation to the hardware and so on, um, in my uh, these are words that I really do not know in English, so it might be difficult. But uh, uh, I live in a in a um, housing community. Uh, I, I live in a housing community. It's like. Uh, uh, it's an apartment building where you uh, you don't rent the apartments, but you buy them. I, I live in uh, okay size one. 
in a cheap neighborhood because it, it isn't really in the city so it's uh, the the uh, the uh, uh, what is it called the the housing value isn't as high uh, as it is in town so it's pretty cheap um, but um, anyways so like I'm not fucking rich or something but I managed to buy this thing uh, it, it, it was really cheap um, but really really okay I'm, I'm rambling compared to other housing is cheap, uh, so to say. Uh, anyways, uh, so because this housing community is, so to say, privately owned by us who own the uh, each of the apartments, um, there's a directorate, and I am a part of that directorate. Uh, to, uh, to be exact, I'm, I'm the main uh, And that means that I get my fee for doing sec meeting secretary things, for writing everything that is said during the meeting, um, and such things happen. Uh, now my fee, my fee isn't a lot, it's pretty small. Uh, uh, I think I got like around, I, I got mine 22nd, uh, December 22nd, and it was like That, that's that was my fee, seven hundred pounds, um, and with it I I used it to uh, buy a new headset because my old one, which I was very very proud of, uh, of, and I also bought a DC, which is the one I'm using right now, and with a um, I added a pop filter to it to improve the sound. Um, I even had a little to put away for a rainy day. Also, you, you might have noticed that my previous video videos were uploaded in uh, 720p. Um, it wasn't ideal, ideal, but it, it was a restriction I had to live with. Um, for editing, I used a very, very powerful um, editing software called Lightworks. It's actually a professional editing software uh, used at times in Hollywood for big movies. Um, among them is, for example, um, uh, Nolan's uh, Dark Knight. It was edited with that program. Um, uh, th the big thing is that the program has a very, very steep learning curve. Um, but I really don't want to discourage people from trying to learn. Honestly, uh, when I learned to use it, um, I had it for like a month and I tried to read the material, but nah, it did, didn't really do for, uh, do, do for me. So what I did was I simply, I simply logged into YouTube and just looked for a tutorial that was like 15 minutes long. I watched the first six minutes and then I pretty much understood the basics and I immediately started editing. And since then I've just learned, partly by using it, partly by reading about uh, features that I, I, I feel like I want to use and so on. It's not that difficult if you are ready to experiment. Um, I don't want to go off on a ta tangent, but um, if you look at my channel, I decided to upload the uh, the intro for uh, for Fallout New Vegas. Because th th there are a few um, intros um, on YouTube, but none remove the, the, the narration. So they they had the, the first part that was live action, then the narration, and this, then the second part that was live action. I didn't like that like it, so I I I um, fired up um, Lightbox. I edited it so that um, uh, so that the sound would kind of, wouldn't really um, wouldn't sound weird because they overlapped each other. So I, I t made them both tune out, um, and uh, I also edited the sound to to give Benny a much more intimidating tone uh, of voice. Um, what I also wanted to do was something that, and, and this is really uh, the thing with the Lightbox, I, I spent probably one and a half or two hours working with shadows on his face, I, on his face rather. I, I, I got an effect that is called something like light shadows. It, 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 you, it makes the, uh, um, in the image, you, uh, you use this effect to 
to make shadows light and light dark. And so you can make a really cool effect on his face because I wanted to... Um, uh, to emphasize his eyes when he looks at you. I wanted to make him look really intimidating, right? Uh, and uh, so, yeah, I started... Um, I, I added a DMV um, with... So, so first off, you, you have the, the, the main picture, right? Like the, uh, the main intro. So in front of the intro, I added a DMV and added the intro into the DMV and then... Uh, started try. I tried to shape it so that it it only contained his face, and then I used key images to resize the DMV to only to follow his face as he moved around, and then I added the effect to that and uh, adjusted it so that the shadows were as, uh, as I preferred it. Um, uh, then when I finally um, uh, rendered it, I, I discovered my f the, the, the problem, and that was um, I, I, I wasn't really able. You might be able to, but I don't know how. Um, anyways, it, it, it was a square box. It wasn't shaped after his face. It was a square box that followed the tallest and widest part of his face. Um, uh, and this effect covered this entire box. And it meant that because his face was darker, so was the background. And so he basically had a dark square following his face around. Uh, so it just looked bad. And I, so but yeah, I, I wasted two hours on that. But, uh, you know, it, it thinks that happens. Um, and that is what happens when you learn things. You make mistakes, you waste time. But, yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, as I was saying about uh, 720p, I've always uploaded because I, I'm not I'm not buying a com I'm not using a commercial version of Lightworks. Um, the commercial version costs like three hundred dollars to buy once, or one thousand, uh, or one hundred a year, something like that. I'm not ready to make such an investment, uh, so I use the free version, which is really good. Um, but you are restricted to 720p unless you upload to Vimeo. So basically what I did was I tricked my computer through administrative tools and so on to uh, to allow me to edit into 1080p without actually uploading to Vimeo because um, Vimeo uh, basically um, it, it, it wants to automatically upload to Vimeo, it, and it won't allow you to render it unless you want, uh, unless you're going to upload to Vimeo, because it, it temporarily saves uh, the file on your computer, and then when it's done, it's done uploading or fails to upload, it, it just removes it. So I basically told my computer to not remove it, and so yeah, I can I can render in 1080p. <laughs> In a free version, something I shouldn't be able to do, but I can because, yeah, I used my brain to trick my computer. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have 1080p from now on. Woo! Um, now last, of course, I'd like to add that in the future, I am hoping to expand my content with a few Bethesda games that I so much love. Anyways, I have to go now. I'm, I'm, I have to get to the train to... Uh, do an appointment. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully I'll see you very soon on my channel.